Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's session. Previously, we already made this new video for coordinate geometry for circle, and there are requests to have more practice and more types of questions related to this. So, the first video, we are going for the more fundamental, more basic type question. This question, they might link with more chapters, and we will practice on it. So again, it's the same, we fall into two parts. First part, we use the equation of circle that relate to the center and radius. And then second part, we do the intersection between a circle with a straight line. Either it's a chord, tangent, or it does not intersect. So let's go to the first part, equation of the circle. This question says a circle has the center of this. And then it says A is life on this circle. Find the equation of the circle. According to the equation of circle, we need to have the center and radius. So we can find the radius by finding the distance of center to the circumference, difference of x squared plus the difference of y squared. Square root of it, or you can throw it here to become r squared because our equation needs r squared. r squared is 45. We know that the formula is x minus center x squared plus y minus center of y squared equals to the radius squared. So this is the equation of circle. Second question that gives us two circle equation, which is this and this. For this part, it's easy. We already know the center is x is 9, y is minus 4. And then I throw my 64 to the other side. r squared equals to 64, r is. Then how about this? This thing, we just expand the equation. Then we compare. Minus 2a equals to 6, so I know a is minus 3. Compare this. Minus 2by equals to minus 10y, so b is 5. This question asks us to find the distance between the center of the circles. This is the first center, this is the second center. So the distance is just difference of x squared plus difference of y squared. Square the whole thing. Distance is. 15. Next, P, Q are the point on C1 and C2 respectively. The distance between P and Q are denoted by D. Find the greatest and least possible value of D. Let's sketch the two circles so easier for us to see. This is the first center. This is the second center. And then the distance between them is 15. So let's say this is the first circle. This is the second circle. The distance between these two center is 15. The shortest distance between them will be here. It's in between this and this will be the shortest distance between them. Total distance between them is 15. The radius here is 8. The radius here, I need to find a squared plus b squared minus r squared equals 18. The distance here is 4. So we know that the shortest distance is 15 minus r1, which is 4, minus r2, which is 8. So it's 3. 3 is the shortest distance between them. And then how about the longest distance between them? Longest distance is actually here. This point to this point. The middle is still 15. Here is 4. Here is 8. So we know that 27 is the greatest possible distance between them. Okay, let's see the next question. They give us this equation. And part one asks us to find the coordinate of center. Part two asks us to find the radius. Both we can use general formula to find. We expand. Coefficient of x is a. Coefficient of x is minus 2a. So a is minus 4. Coefficient of y is negative 10. Coefficient of y here is minus 2b. So b is 5. So we know the center is minus 4, 5. Next, find the exact value for radius. So radius is the balance thing. Include 1, 2, 3. These three parts equals to the... This thing need to throw to the left become negative 29 because when you compare equation, the equation must be equal to 0. R is square root of 70 because their request for exact value just leave it in this way. Next, in part 2, you must show details reasoning. So they say, the circle C2 has this equation, and then prove that circle C1 and C2 neither touch nor intersect. If we can confirm, radius 1 and radius 2, the distance is actually quite short. 
but the distance between the center is very big. Then we can confirm that will not intersect or not touch. So we find the distance between the center first. The first center is this, the second center is this. So we find the distance. We have 250. R1 is square of 70. So R2, R squared is 52. So R2 is square root of 52. This question, they can only appear in paper two, the calculator paper, because we need to key in calculator. We found that it is 15.58. And then this thing we key in calculator is 15.81. So we know that the sum of radii is lesser than distance between center. So this is the reason why they will not intersect or they will not touch with each other. Next question is a bit special. They give you three coordinates and then they tell you AB is perpendicular to BC. So when they talk about perpendicular, this part is not yet circle. They just relate these two line and tell them they are perpendicular. So we must use M1, M2 equals to minus one. So the gradient one for AB is here. B and C. P is 7. We reject 13 because it says P is less than 10. So we only accept P is 7. Then the second part that says the circle passes through point A, B, C. Find the equation of the circle. So let's say A, B is like this. B, C is like this. And then they tell you they are perpendicular. Means that A, C is the diameter. So if you know a diameter, you will know what is the center. After we find the center coordinate, we also need to know the radius. Pythagoras, which is the difference of x squared plus difference of y squared. So we successfully find information of r squared and x and y. Then we apply the formula of circle, which is x minus x center squared plus y minus the y center squared equals to r squared. So this is the equation of the circle. After we deal with the equation of the circle, so the second part that the question always asks is the relationship between a circle with a straight line, which either is a chord, a tangent, or does not intersect. So we will see more questions about this. This question, they give you a circle with this equation, and then they say there are tangent that touches B and C and passes through A. And then they give you the equation of the tangent is y equals to mx plus 10. Whenever it is a circle with a straight line, we know we need to use b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. Before we start, we must join these two equations together first. So we sub equation 1 into equation 2. So x squared plus mx plus 10 squared equals to 20. The coefficient of x squared is my a, which is 1 plus m squared. And then coefficient of x is b. And then without x is c, so it's 80. Then we know b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. So the gradient would be plus minus 2. So obviously this gradient is 2. This gradient is negative 2. Then we can get the four marks. Okay, so these are some extra questions that we discuss based on the new syllabus circle geometry coordinate. If you still need more information or you have any request or any concern, please feel free to comment here. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share my video. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.